Now, writing about those who want, who will be persecuted by the Antichrist, St. Cyril of Jerusalem asks, who will be the blessed person who will become a martyr of Christ? And he says, I believe that those martyrs will be the greatest martyrs above all of the ages, above those of all ages, because they will fight not simply the servants of Satan, but face to face with the Antichrist and the devil. Wow. Are you surprised that the Antichrist will defeat the saints of God? In other words, the Christians? Do you get kind of sad when you hear that? Oh, he's going to war and overcome the saints. What? No. Well, think about what that could mean. All the Christians are saints. That's how Apostle Paul refers to all of all the Christians in Corinth or whatever it might be, the saints. This does not mean that he will overturn their faith, although this will also take place with some of the elect, as we see in Scripture where it says that even the elect could be deceived, right? Possible to deceive even the elect. No, but that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about def defeating them means that they are, they're going to be bodily harmed. They're going to be martyred. They're going to maybe see death, and he will see death. That will not be their defeat spiritually. That will be their victory, right? So he will kill a number of Christians, but God, and God will allow this, but this will happen not because God is incapable of protecting them from the Antichrist, but because through their great patience, they will receive crowns of martyrdom with it from him. Far, far, far more important it is to receive crowns in heaven than it is to live another five years on this earth. Lest we lest we be deluded like the world and think that the, the and not have the hierarchy of things. For God, it's far more important for us to have an eternal uh, crown than it is to have a this earthly life. For how whatever number of years, you know, five hundred years would still be a pale before this crown in eternity. This is exactly what God has done throughout history for His own people to crown them with the crown of martyrdom. And I've told you the story. Of Elder Sophronios, I've told it to many of you, and he said that the great victory of the Russian Church was not—it was not the great defeat of the Russian Church in the 1950s when the people were wailing, uh, when the church was decimated. It was the great victory of all those martyrs and the, those who were exiled, and those who were died in exile or in martyrdom and in prison. That's that's the the whole purpose of the church is to make saints, and many times it means. Martyrs, to make martyrs. That's what the church has been doing and has done and will do. <laughs>